I can't say hello because it's lightning, it's very fast, I'm running out of time. So I directly go into the, I speak. So tuberculosis. So what I, um, tuberculosis is actually um, the number one leading cause of death from infectious disease. It is a huge problem in China, in Hong Kong. So currently, actually, there is a 10 million new case, not a human case, a new case, and then 1.4 million people die because of this disease. So the constrictive agent is a bacteria, it's called mycobacterium tuberculosis. So for treat this kind of the bacteria, we require complicated antibiotic treatment. We're not taking one, but a cup, I mean, at least four antibiotics. And this result in a very complex drug-resistant profile developed by this particular pathogen. So currently, we rely on the molecular tests, which only target on particular hotspot mutations. So a rapid and comprehensive diagnostic tool for drug-resistant TB is lacking. So our team is actually um, getting samples from Czech clinic around entire Hong Kong. When we get a TB positive uh, sputum, we develop a multiplex PCR, which can simultaneously amplify 19 uh, genetic regions from the bacteria. So with this 19 uh, amicorn, you can already predict or, um, about 11 drug-resistant uh, informations uh, to the, to the anti-TB anti agents. So when we design the PCR, we are very careful uh, in addition to the target-specific regions, we have a uni universal tail okay, at the 5, uh, five pi n, so that after the multiplex PCL, this amicorn can be used as a um, template for the barcode PCL, so that after two, PCL, after two PCL, you're ready, sorry, you're ready for the number four sequencing. So we have the barcode PCL, and then we still use the ligations uh, uh, based the library preparations. By that time, the rapid kit is uh, not yet available. So we sequence the sample for six hours. We pull 20 samples per run to save money. And then we analyze, okay, with um, our home developed uh, software, we call it bacterial track. We can directly translate the raw read into the clinician friendly report. So here's the result. So we have finished, uh, analyzed 163 TB positive sputum. We collect not only from Hong Kong, but also from the Ethiopia. We have a collaboration in Africa. So on average, per sample, we have depth of coverage around 1,600. So this is um, average. But we do observe a phenomenon that you know we pull um, different size of ambicorn together in a full cell. You can see um, the lenopore tend to sequence something short, more efficient than those we have a longer size. So here you can see um, the depth of coverage definitely decreased when the PCL ambicorn size is getting increased. But still, I think the depth of coverage is good enough for us to make the um, decisions. So here is our report. So you can see, actually, in, in, our, in our software, we can directly interpret whether there is a resistant or susceptible to particular NATB drug. And also, we indicate a specific mutation identified by the lenopore with the mutation preference. So this is actually the diagnostic performance to different kind of the NATB drug. You can see most of them with the sensitivity and specificity greater than 95% of them, we compare the result with the culture base, which is called a conventional method. Okay, so this is um, very uh, clinical useful. So we are really adopt it as a um, standard workflow. So to compare with um, the turnaround time, so this is a um, conventional uh, method. So it's spent about for, uh, the whole month to compete. With the Lenopore sequencing workflow, we can save at least 10 to 18 days, which can very good for, I mean, which is actually very good for the patient management and also uh, the infection control. So this is my talk here. So thank you for your attention.